Hi, this is Kurt with Traverse Tool Company. Today we're going to talk about milling machine work stops. The first question is, what's a work stop? So to explain that, a work stop allows you to position a workpiece in the machine, the vise, or the table, wherever you're putting it, in exactly the same place every time. Whether you're making multiple pieces that have to come out exactly the same way, or different operations, maybe at different ends of the same workpiece, every time you put it in the machine, it goes back to the same spot. Let's talk about our top five selling work stops and what the differences are between them, their advantages and disadvantages, why would you use one instead of another. And we're going to start out with our top seller. This little thing is everybody's favorite. It's real easy to use. It mounts on top of a vise, actually a vise jaw. All you do to mount it is tighten that set screw. Put your workpiece up against it, and you're done. Let's just say, however, that you have a larger end mill and you need to machine a step in this workpiece, and the end mill is going to conflict with the work stop. Easy way to fix that. Loosen these two set screws, push that pin over, tighten the set screws back up, and now you have a lot of room in between the, the workpiece and the work stop. The only disadvantage that I can think of of this work stop is that because of the fact that it mounts on top of the vise jaw, you can't have a workpiece that hangs over both sides. Next one we're going to talk about is a little bit different. One of the things that makes this unique is this little key on the bottom of it. That slides right into the T-slot of the table of the milling machine so that it doesn't pivot. So we're going to put our screw in there. I have a T-nut underneath that's already in the T-slot. Tighten it down to the table. In the back is a little set screw to adjust the height, so I'm adjusting that. There's the angle I want, and this one is going to set the length of the rod. So now I'm going to put that, no, well, I don't like where that is. much better. So here's my workpiece up against the work stop. Now if I need to machine this side, all I need to do move that right out of the way. I can machine that side, put it right back again, and it's in exactly the same place again. Here's a little tip. When you have one side machined, and another side that's just saw cut, always put the machine side against the work stop. There's no guarantee that if you put a rough saw cut edge of the workpiece up against the work stop that it's going to be in exactly the same place every time. So machine side goes to the work stop. Here's a TTC brand work stop. This one also mounts on the T-slot of the machine table. This is actually my personal favorite. It's a do anything work stop. So first thing we do, put the T-nut in the T-slot. Tighten that down. If you don't like where the handle is, no problem. Just pick it up and move it. Put your bar in place, super easy to use. And there you have your workpiece up against the stop. The disadvantage to this work stop is if you have to machine this side, you really can't. It, there's no way to move 
the work stop and have it come right back to the same place every time. If you can see what I mean, it, it just it moves everywhere. A nice thing about this work stop, you can have it way back here. And if you have a real long piece hanging way off the vise, you can even have it reach the other end of the work stop. Here's a work stop that's a little bit different. It doesn't mount to the T-slots, it mounts to the back of the vise. Every machine vise has half inch 13 holes in the back of it. So we're just putting the screws in there. Next thing I want to do is set the height. So here's our workpiece. I want the height right about there. Right underneath here is a set screw. I'm going to push that back a little bit. Tighten the set screw. There's another one. Push the rod in. Tighten that set screw. And now every time I put the workpiece in, it's going right up to the same place. One of the advantages of this kind of a work stop, you probably noticed the two series of three holes. So you can mount this in three different places. Also, just like one of the other ones that we showed here today, you can move this out of the way, machine this side, and when you put it back, it goes right back to exactly the same place. Another cool little doodad this one has is this little collar that you put on the rod. So now if you have a workpiece that goes over top of the work stop, it can butt up against that. So if it's a long workpiece, you can have this way out here and the workpiece can go right up against that. Here's a TTC brand work stop. It's not much to look at, but I'll tell you what, it does a great job and it's the least expensive one that you're going to be able to find. It mounts right in the T-slot that easily. You can position this wherever it needs to go. The bar goes in and out, tighten it down. And it does a great job at staying in place. So if money is a thing and you don't need fancy, that's a great work stop. So now that you have a little bit better understanding of what a work stop is, you can probably see how much of an advantage it is to use one when you have multiple parts that you have to make that all need to be exactly the same. So I hope you got something out of this. If you have any other questions, let us know.